Hello students, myself is Gurmeet Singh and today in this lecture we will discuss the inequalities regarding bounds of the function, its upper Riemann sum and lower Riemann sum. So what is the theorem? If m and small m be the bounds of the function f of x defined on a b then we have to prove that m times b minus a is less than lpf is less than upf is less than capital m b minus a and what is p p is any partition of the interval a b so let us prove so first of all let p is equal to what is this a equals to x naught less than x1 and so on xi minus 1 less than xi less than and xn less than uh, equal to b this b a partition of the interval a b and uh, as usual, just rapa palace post what is small mi that is uh, small mi. This is greatest lower bound of the function f of x within the interval xi minus 1 to xi. And uh, what is capital mi that is least upper bound of f of x within the interval xi minus 1 to xi. And what about capital M and small m? These are the bonds. This is the least upper bond of the function f of x within the interval a to b. And this is the least upper bond of the function within the interval a to b. So, this is for the subinterval. And uh, capital M and small m are bonds for the main interval a b. So, this is the first time I diagram. So, function is very important. Either it may be increasing, decreasing, whatever. So, simply, a function let us say this be the function. This be the graph of the function. Y is equal to f of x. So, this is small m. This is, let us say this is a, this is b, and uh, by the graph of the function, this here small m. This is the smallest value of the function within the interval a, b, and uh, this, this value is the least upper bound of the function within the interval a, b. So the largest value, or you can say this is the supremum. अगर मैं इस इंटरवल को थोड़ा छोटा कर दें ये द ये का पार्टिशन्स लैंड तो बाद मान लो ये तो अरे कोडे एक्स आई माइनस वन है दिस योर एक्स आई तो व्हाट इस दिस इस इस स्मॉल एम आई एंड से दिस इस कैपिटल एम आई देखो ए जस्ट एक अजम्पशन है मैं नो इंक्रीजिंग ले लिया डजन मैटर तो उसी डिक्रीजिंग भी ले सकते हो जो किसी भी तरह का कोई भी हो फंक्शन ले सकते हो बट वन थिंग इज कंफर्म्ड कि वी नो दैट आई हैव टू राइट वी नो दैट इट्स स्मॉल एम इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू एम आई लेस देन इक्वल टू कैपिटल एम आई लेस देन इक्वल टू एम आई तो इक्वालिटी नहीं हो सकती है हाँ अगर जेकर तो अटा फंक्शन कांस्टेंट ही हो जाता है तो स्मॉल एम कैपिटल एम दिस इज स्मॉल एम आई कैपिटल एम आई तो चार पड़े हैं सारे सेम हो जाएंगे ठीक है इक्वालिटी भी आप आए थे विच यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो मल्टीप्लाइंग थ्रो द इक्वालिटी बाय डेल्टा आई सो दिस इज m delta i less than equal to m i less than equal to capital m i delta i uh, again here it is delta i less than equal to capital m i delta i less than equal to m delta i okay. so taking sum from i running from 1 to n so for this summation m delta i less than equal to summation 
M I delta I and that is less than equal to summation capital M I delta I and that is less than summation capital M delta I. If throughout the summation I runs from 1 to N. I runs from 1 to N. And uh, so here, if you have a then what is this? This is M summation delta I, I running from 1 to N less than equal to, what is this? This is LPF less than equal to, what is this? This is UPF and what is this? This is capital M summation delta I, I running from 1 to N. And what about this summation? To see, kya summation? Summation ki cheez hai? Summation delta is nothing but uh, this is the sum of the lengths of the all subintervals. Ye jinne bhi subintervals hai, inna the lengths the sum ho gaya. And that is equal to the total length of the interval. So, what is this? To see, let me subdue. That is m. This is B minus A less than LPF less than equal to UPF less than equal to capital M B minus A. Otherwise, you may say summation delta I, I running from 1 to N means delta 1 plus delta 2 up to delta N. And what about delta 1? That is X1 minus X0. Delta 2, x2 minus x1, and so on, xn minus x0. It is what I call a cancel out here, a cancel out here. Ultimately, we are left with it. this is xn, this is minus x0. What about xn? x is in, n is nothing but b, this is a. So, in you see directly, we will accept them. Name that the help they are b and more upon right cursor. ठीक है जी तो कुछ नहीं है अपने कोड़े कैपिटल एम तो स्मॉल एम में दे बॉन्ड सी के एम टाइम्स बी माइनस ए लेस देन एलपीएफ लेस देन यूपीएफ लेस देन कैपिटल एम बी माइनस ए आपने प्रूफ करना सी तो स्मॉल एम बाय ग्रेटर स्लोअर बॉन्ड हो गया जी एफ एक्स दा एक्स आई माइनस वन ते एक्स एम एक्स आई तो इधर ले देखो इन आप किस तरह भी प्रूव कर सकते हैं ये फंक्शन का ग्राफ में किमे भी बना सकते हैं तो लेट अस से मैं इन इंक्रीजिंग बना लेते ना थोड़ा इजीली समझ लग जाएगा जहां से कांस्टेंट भी हो सकता है अल्टीमेटली वी कैन फाइंड दिस इनइक्वालिटी दैट इज m less than equal to m i less than equal to कैपिटल uh, m i एंड दिस इज लेस देन इक्वल टू m तो थ्रो आउट इन इक्वालिटी उसको बाद में मल्टीप्लाई कर दो डेल्टा के नाल you don't know delta i now multiply karangi so what is this this is m delta i this is m i delta i less than equal to m i capital m i delta i less than equal to m delta i sum up kar deo ji i runs from 1 to n a dot equal to m common again this is summation delta i this is the definition of your LPF lower Riemann sum the definition of GG this is the definition of upper Riemann sum and this is nothing but capital M dot of R again summation delta i and what about summation delta i so g is equal to g that's it this is b minus a so this is your inequality so very simple thank you very much